Hello friends, welcome to PS Shin Day's unique English easy way, the only YouTube channel to learn important English concepts most easily in minutes. Today, we are going to be learning about articles in the English language, but we are not going to be doing it in the usual boring way. Instead, we are going to make it fun and interactive. First, let's define what articles are. Articles are words that come before nouns and indicate the type of reference being made. Why they are considered separate parts of speech, you will know in the end. In English, we have two types of articles. Definite and indefinite. The definite article is the. It's like a magic word that lets us refer to something specific, like the person behind the screen. Or the bird in the cage. Will you think of any other sentence with the? Next up, we have the indefinite articles a and an. A is used before nouns that start with consonants, such as a book, while an is used before nouns that start with vowels, such as an elephant. Now, let's practice using articles in a fun way. We'll give you a noun, and you have to tell whether to use a, an, or the before the six seconds timer stops and displays the answer with an explanation. For example, if we say apple, you would say an apple. Are you ready? Let's go. Pen. A pen. Because the word pen begins with a consonant sound. Unique discovery. The word unique is pronounced with a silent u, making a consonant sound. In this case, the correct form would be a unique discovery. Unusual finding. Although the beginning letter is the same as in the previous example, the word unusual pronunciation begins with a vowel sound, a. Uh. The answer, in this case, would be an unusual finding. He is blank. Honor to his country. He is an honor to his country. The H in honor is silent. The word begins with the vowel sound shown on the screen. To learn more about all the 20 vowel sounds in English, please click the link provided in the description box below. It is blank holy place. It is a rule with the words beginning with H that if the H is aspirant, then the word is preceded by the article A. If H is silent, it takes the article AN. Here, the answer would be It is a holy place. He is from blank European country. He is from a European country. The word European begins with a consonant sound, though represented by the letter E. In English, when a word begins with a consonant sound, 
We use the indefinite article a rather than an. I would like to visit blank Mount Everest one day. I would like to visit the Mount Everest one day. Remember, the definite article, the, is used before a specific noun. The, is compulsory with Mount Everest because it is only one, and there is no other mountain of its size and magnitude. Bananas cost 20 rupees. Blank. Dozen. Bananas cost 20 rupees a dozen. We use per to express the relationship between two values. The indefinite articles can also be used in the place of per as it is done in this example. This is blank sixth day of our excursion. This is the sixth day of our excursion. We use the with nouns modified by ranking or ordering expressions such as the first, the second, the third, the next, the last, the previous, and the following. The teacher gave me blank A for my project. The teacher gave me an A for my project. The article an is used before the letter A in this context because A represents a grade, which is a singular countable noun starting with a vowel sound. The use of the indefinite article an is therefore appropriate to indicate that the grade received by the speaker is a particular grade among many possible grades. Without the indefinite article, the sentence would be incomplete and unclear as the listener would not know what kind of a the speaker is referring to. So friends these are a few exercises on articles in English. As I told, articles are considered separate parts of speech because they do not fit comfortably into nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, prepositions, conjunction, and interjection. This is because they do not directly modify or refer to a noun, verb, or any other part of speech in the same way as adjectives or adverbs do for example. Articles just serve a unique grammatical function of indicating the definiteness or indefiniteness of a noun, which is not shared by any other part of speech. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video.